Hey everyone, Anthony Speranza here to tell you a few tips about creating Google Sites with your teachers and students in your Google Apps for Education domains. Google Sites are a great way to share information with the people in your schools. As websites, they could be used for student e-portfolios, to staff portal pages and a whole lot more. If you're using Google Apps for Education, your domain will allow you to create unlimited sites with unlimited pages and you can store up to 100 gigabytes on your sites. To create a site, go to your domain site address or click the site's icon from the app launcher. Go ahead and click the red create button. The default setting is to create a site with a blank template or you could be tempted to browse the public gallery, but you should use this with caution. Whilst most of these templates look great, they sometimes rely on complex HTML code, which can easily be broken or deleted by inexperienced users. Choose a name for your site, which will automatically populate a URL or web address for your site. Your URL does not have to match your site name. Something to consider here is that once your site is created, the name of your site can be changed but your URL cannot, so pick carefully. Although if you wish to change your URL afterwards, you can copy your site and give it a different URL name. Through the Select a Theme option, you can view some pretty nice colour design themes to use straight away. Look for themes that are expanded all the way across the screen, like Slate or Micro Blueprint. These will present in the best way on any screen size. Even once you create your site, you can easily swap your theme if you change your mind. I would recommend tagging several categories as this can make your site easier to find amongst the potential hundreds of addresses that could exist in your domain. For example, you might use a class code, a subject, a teacher's name, a student's name. Categories are separated by a comma. An easily understood site description also helps you. Once that's all done, you're good to go. Hit that create button and let Google do the rest. Happy site making and thanks for watching.